اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم ولعن أعداءهم أجمعين صلى الله عليك يا مظلوم يا مولانا يا صاحب الزمان Good evening dear viewers I hope uh, you are as you're watching this episode you're in perfect health Well tonight uh, I'm going to talk about in this episode uh, about the importance of realizing a simple fact but a bitter one for sure we're all uh, troubled to varying degrees in our everyday lives we experience uh, pain discomfort unpleasant situations and endure and suffer and so on and so forth but life goes on and these experiences uh, are replaced at least for a short time by joy happiness comfort and pleasantness so our distress our state of being distressed is not stretched too long but there is one person in this universe who is continuously distraught in the real sense of the word the Arabic word for that is al-mustar who is the mustar who is the one person who has been for a thousand year and more distraught and troubled and is continuously confronting the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and still defending the legacy the divine legacy of the Prophet and guiding people but still he is distraught now what is my basis for presenting this uh, issue a verse from Quran allow me to read it to you well uh, there's a verse from Quran which is famously known and which is uh, popularly actually recited when we are distressed the verse goes and it continues, of course. You can find this verse in Surah An Naml, verse number 62. So, I guess it rings a bell, huh? This is a famous part of Quran that we occasionally recite in times of distress. But who is it really referring to? Who is the person meant by this verse of Quran? Now, what happened that the Imam of our time has been continuously distraught throughout these years? Because not enough faithful people followed him. Not enough uh, faithful people truly believed in him and too few people sincerely supported his cause and therefore the redemption uh, has been delayed his emergence has been delayed yet of course uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised to put an end to this age of occultation and inshallah remove this state of distraughtness and alleviate and relieve our Imam Mahdi alayhi salam inshallah uh, so this verse of Quran allow me to recite it to you and try to uh, make it actually uh, let me put it this way uh, give you a more practical sense of this verse by virtue of uh, reciting 
a hadith from Ahlul Bayt السلام, which are intertwined with Quran. So the verse goes, أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُسْتَرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ خُلَفَاءِ الْأَرْضِ So uh, the translation for this would be, uh, is there anyone أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُسْتَرَّ is there anyone but he, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who will answer and fulfill the call and prayer of the distraught one, al-mustar. Amman yajib al-mustarra idha da'ah. This, uh, of course, pronoun ha refers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, is there anyone but he? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will answer and fulfill for sure the call and prayer of the distraught one al-mustar uh, thereby removing of course his distress and then will place uh, actually will place that person but the verses وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ it's beautiful so when his answer when his actually call and prayer to God is answered and fulfilled, what is the consequence? وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ خُلَفَاءِ الْأَرْضِ Thereby, you, the divinely appointed Imam, will be placed in your rightful position as the divine rulers of the earth. So, this verse is actually referring to His Majesty. Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and it is him who will one day make this prayer and call on God to put an end to this age of occultation. Now allow me to uh, recite a hadith to you in explanation and to further elaborate on this verse of Quran. Uh, so, why do I say that uh, this verse, on what basis am I saying that this verse refers to uh, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, وَيَجْعَلَكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْزِ means what? So, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, salawatullahi alayhi says, نَزَلَتْ فِي الْقَائِمِ مِنْ آلِ مُحَمَّدْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّلَامِ You can find this hadith in the... Uh, Book of Exegesis by Ali ibn Ibrahim al qawmi Rahmatullahi alayh, divine blessings upon him. Uh, so the Imam Sadiq alayhi salam is saying that this verse, أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُسْتَرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ وَيَجْعَلَكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْضِ نَزَلَتْ فِي الْقَائِمْ مِنْ آلِ مُحَمَّدْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّلَامِ Meaning that this verse has been revealed in respect to or in relation to the Qa'im from the lineage of uh, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa And the Imam says, He is the one, Wa huwa al Mustar, He is the distraught one that is meant and referred to in this verse. Wa huwa al Mustar, Iza Salla fil Maqam Rak'atain. When he, inshaAllah, that day, when he will actually uh, perform two uh, rak'at of salat, prayer, in the station of Ibrahim alayhi salam, next to Kaaba, fil maqam, Allah fa'ajabahu. He calls on God, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty Transcendent, the Most Pure, will answer and fulfill his call, and his plea. وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ And he will remove his unpleasant state of distraughtness. وَيَجْعَلُهُ خَلِيفَةَ الْأَرْضِ And God will place him, actually divinely appoint him as the ruler, the rightful ruler of this earth.
So this is a hadith for Imam Sadiq salam that explains uh, who is Al-Mustar, the distraught one in this verse of Quran and describes what happens to the Imam when he finally, inshallah, will call on God and God will answer and fulfill his plea. So, uh, also in the, the prayer of Nudba, Nudba uh, we read, أَيْنَ الْمُسْتَرُّ الَّذِي يُجَابُ إِذَا دَعَى So this is, this, this uh, actually part of uh, the prayer of Nudba reinforces my argument and this hadith actually. أَيْنَ الْمُسْتَرُّ الَّذِي يُجَابُ إِذَا دَعَى Where is the distraught one whose call and prayer will be answered and when he does so, God will grant him what he has asked for. So, let's pray. Let's pray for our oppressed Imam, the Imam who's been left alone, who's been alienated in our time. Let's take one more step. Let's try and do more, devote more time to our Imam and try to assist him in any manner possible. And let's, in our quiet corner, shed one tear for the Imamun al-Mazloom, Mahdi alayhi salam. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Stay tuned for further episodes broadcast to you by Imam Hussain TV. Goodbye.